Let's take the cosine rule from algebra, which you'll remember probably vaguely from school. And that said, if we had a triangle with sides A, B, and C, uh, then what the cosine rule said was that uh, C squared was equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cos of the angle between A and B, cos that angle theta there. Um, now, we can translate that into our, our vector notation. We called this vector R here, and we called this vector S here, then this vector would be minus s plus r. So that vector would be r minus s, minus s plus r. So we could say that c squared was the modulus of r minus s squared, and that would be equal to the modulus, the size of r squared, plus the size of s squared, minus 2 mod r mod s cos theta. Now, here's the cool bit. We can multiply this out using our dot product because we know that the size of r minus s squared is equal to r minus s dotted with itself. Now, that's, that's just that. And we can multiply that out and then we'll compare it to this right hand side here. So r minus s dotted with r minus s, well that's going to be, if we, we need to figure out how to multiply that out, that's going to be equal to r dotted with r, uh, and then take the next one, minus s dotted with r, uh, minus uh, s uh, dotted with r again, if you take that, minus s and that r, minus s dotted with r again, uh, and then minus s uh, dotted with minus s. So that is, we've got the modulus of r squared here, and we dot r with itself, minus twice s dotted with r, uh, and then minus s dotted with minus s, well that's going to be the size of minus s squared, which is just the size of s squared. And then we can compare that to the right hand side, and when we do that comparison, compare that to the right hand side, the minus r squareds are going to cancel, uh, the r squareds even, the s squareds are going to cancel, and so we get a result which is that minus twice s dotted with r is equal to minus twice modulus of r, modulus of s, cos theta. That is, and then we can lose the minus sign, right? The minus signs will cancel out, just multiply through by minus one. So, and then the twos we can cancel out again. So we can say that the dot product r dot s, just to put it in a more familiar form, is equal to mod r mod s cos theta. So what we found here is that the dot product really does something quite profound. It takes the size of the two vectors, if, we, if these were both unit length vectors, those would be one, and multiplies by cos of the angle between them. It tells us something about the extent to which the two vectors go in the same direction. Because if cos theta, uh, if theta was zero, then cos theta would be one, and r dot s would just be the size of the two vectors multiplied together. If the two vectors, on the other hand, were at 90 degrees to each other, if they were, r was like this, and s was like this, and the angle between them, theta, was equal to 90 degrees, cos theta, cos 90, is zero, and then r dot s, is going to be, we can immediately see, r dot s is going to be some size of r, some size of s, times zero. So if the two vectors are pointing uh, at 90 degrees to each other, if they're what's called orthogonal to each other, then the dot product's going to give me zero. If they're both pointed in the same direction, say s was like that, and the angle between them is naught, cos uh, of naught is equal to 1, and then r dot s is equal to the mod r times mod s, just the multiplication of the two uh, sizes together. Fun one, last 
fun one here, is that R and S are in opposite directions. So let's say S was now going this way, and the angle between them was 180 degrees. Cos of 180, of 180 degrees, is equal to minus 1. So then R dot S would be equal to minus the size of R times the size of S. And so what the dot product here really does with this cos, it tells us uh, when we get the minus sign out that they're going in opposite directions. So there's some property here in the dot product that we've derived by looking at the cosine rule that we've derived here. When the dot product's zero, they're at 90 degrees to each other, they're orthogonal. When they're going the same way, we get a positive answer. When they're going more or less in opposite directions, we get a negative answer for the dot product.